Hey, it's Marley from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for Wednesday, March 8th. So today we do have the moon moving out of this Virgo energy, moving into Libran energy. Of course, we're still very much in the full moon energy and still very much adapting to Saturn's move into Pisces. We're definitely going to need a little bit of an adjustment period in order for this particular energy to actually settle down and settle in. Now, we have six different aspects here today. Six of them involve the moon, which means that this is a moon day. We are going to continue to see the unraveling of our emotions, of our mental plane in order for us to take stock, take an inventory, reevaluate where our attention, our time, our energy is needed. We, under the full moon energy, should be really examining and analyzing our mental blockages, our inner dialogue, the narrative that we allow to loop in our heads and, of course, kind of unpack the mental and emotional baggage that we've been carrying and really kind of weed things out, all in the purpose, all in the goal of lightening the load as we enter into a new astrological calendar. So we're still going to be feeling the feels. We're still going to be kind of cluster effed in our head. Now, granted, when we see the moon shift into this Libran energy, the Libran energy attempts to balance us out. We are kind of retreating, if you will, from the depths, from the darkness that many of us have found ourselves in over the last couple of days. And we are trying to kind of stay in the shallow end. We're trying to brighten things up. We're trying to really, you know, pluck out the silver linings. We are definitely going to have some interesting aspects here today that's really going to shift our perspective to where it is that we need to go instead of focusing in on where it is that we've been. So we start off with the moon still very much in this Virgo energy, making a very positive aspect with the true node. So of course, the Virgo energy that the moon is in, the Taurus energy that the North Node is in, those are Earth energies, they're going to get along very, very well together. And what we are kind of doing here is emotionally speaking, we're starting to piece together where it is that we're going from here, what that might actually look like, where there's a plan, a strategy coming together, and it feels pretty damn good. Now the moon is going to trine Pluto. This is a beautiful energy. This is also the last aspect that the moon is going to make before going void, of course. And again, as I've previously mentioned, what I love about the Virgo energy and Pluto in particular is that Virgo energy does a deep dive in our psyche, right? It's very much focused on the mental plane, really trying to unearth where some of the seeds got planted in order to create these negative narratives, this inner dialogue that is too judgmental, too critical, and very much on the negative side of things. Pluto does the exact same thing. He takes us on a very, a very intense journey in our past, illuminating the darkness, illuminating the pain, the trauma, the suffering, the tough love life lessons. And what we do with these energies is that we flip a switch. We have an aha moment. We kind of knock over the first domino and what we see is not only a shift in our mental plane and our perspective and in our, our perception and our understanding, but we see that particular shift impact our emotions, of course, unpacking those emotions, freeing us up, really taking a look at the struggles that we've gone through, plucking out the silver linings and starting to see where it is that all of these storylines have been divinely scripted by our higher selves to push us into a placement of power a placement of authority over our lives. And so with the moon trining Pluto, because again, Pluto's in Capricorn energy, so we get some earth on earth energy here. What we're getting is an aha moment on not only the long term, looking back on how it is that we actually got here and having some of those epiphanies pop off, but realistically, putting us in a situation where we are now looking forward we are unpacking the old, we're making space for the new. And right now, this particular energy is pushing us to want to do better, wanting us to be better, wanting us to create better, which is a beautiful thing. Now, this is at 908. So the moon goes void, of course, things get shaky, things get unstable, things get uncertain until 945 a.m. Again, as I mentioned, not a huge, huge time frame where the moon is void, thankfully, because with all the other aspects going on, we really need as much stability as we can get at this point. 
Now, we move into this Libran energy, 9.45 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And about 10 minutes later, we have the very first aspect taking place with the moon in Libra coming together, making a awkward interaction with Saturn, who is now in Pisces energy. Now, this is the very first aspect that Mr. Saturn is making in this Pisces energy. If you want to go ahead, listen to that astral forecast for a little bit of a rundown on what we can expect for the next three years, you go right ahead. I also, in my Patreon for my VIPs, did a hour whole astro class on where Saturn could be impacting your life due to the placement in your chart, Saturn all through the houses. So take a, a peek on that, download your zodiac forecast, that's going to tell you where Saturn is kind of setting up shop according to your rising sign. Um, but basically, we're getting we're, we're just dipping our toes into the Piscean water right now, we are going to need an adjustment period. And you know, this is this is setting us up for the next three years. So this is going to be a little bit of a low and slow adjustment. And the moon in Libra, who just wants to find balance, who wants to find peace, who wants to find harmony within the circumstances, bumping into Saturn this way, we're definitely seeing an opportunity to make a change. And Saturn, of course, he is the Lord of Karma. He rules over structures, foundations, and systems. Yes, he kind of restricts us. He holds us back in order for us to learn the lesson fully, for us to stand in the maturity of the realization of the wisdom before we can actually move on. So this particular energy is likely going to bring a lot of weight. We're feeling the pressure, right? We're about to boss up. We are moving into a new chapter. We're moving into new roles and responsibilities. There's lots coming at us, we can feel the intensity just kind of unpack itself, if you will. And we're struggling at this particular point in time to really kind of see where it is that we have to create a little bit more balance, especially in our emotional realm, as we get used to kind of navigating these Piscean waters that Mr. Lord of Karma himself has just, just dipped his toes into. The moon will go ahead and bump into Uranus. Uranus is the great awakener. Now, this isn't the best aspect. It's not the best interaction. However, it is going to illuminate the sudden change, the sudden shift, the sudden, I'm going to say orientation to a new path, a new direction, a new perspective. And where it is that that seems kind of a little bit extreme and where it is that we need to pump the brakes in order for us to create a little bit of stability. Now, this is going to be a little bit of a seesaw for the next couple of days until we kind of adapt to our new environment, our new surroundings. And there is an awareness coming in. There is a huge shift in our emotions, in our mental plane, in our circumstances that can feel pretty overwhelming. And so the moon in Libra is definitely processing all this information, trying to really see the light and bright side of things, but also really show us where it is that, you know what, that that's that's pretty extreme. We need to find a little bit more of a grounded point here to operate from because it seems pretty extreme to lean all the way into these changes at this particular moment in time. The moon in Libra will make a interaction with the true note. And this particular interaction is I'm going to say a choice point, a crossroads, if you will, but we're not actually making the choice. We're not actually like aligning with a path in a direction because Lord knows the moon in Libra is not the decisive energy that we need that we're going to get. Um, that's sarcasm. If you didn't know, Libra and energy is super indecisive. We hardly ever make any kind of choice, any kind of decision while the moon is in Libra, but we're contemplating it. We're seeing it. We're seeing the options. We're seeing the choices to move forward. And again, uh, some of them feel pretty extreme. And emotionally speaking, we're going to really resist some of those changes right now and really pull back on these extreme, this, this extreme emotion, these extreme choices, this extreme type of shift in our lives in order to create as much peace in our lives, as much stability in our lives that is possible right now with all of these tides changing. So the last aspect that we have here today is the moon making a positive interaction with Mr. Saturn. So of course, we had, uh, we had an earlier interaction that wasn't so pleasant kind of brought the weight, brought the responsibility brought the extreme intensity that we're currently kind of um, wading through, if you will, as we adjust to this energy. 
this is a positive interaction. What this means is, is we're starting to kind of talk ourselves in to this new chapter, trying to make it exciting, trying to make it a positive thing, really focusing in on the silver linings, the rewards of it all. And there is this sense of duty, of accountability, of responsibility that once felt very heavy and weighted that we're trying to kind of fluff up. We're trying to look on the bright side of things. We're trying to help hype ourselves up and help ourselves make this very dramatic adjustment. So there is a lot of seesawing again going on here today. We will continue the seesawing through our emotions for the next couple of days as we kind of move out of the full moon energy and we adjust a little bit better to Saturn's transition into Pisces energy. Mm -hmm.